What's up everybody, welcome back to Bunswax, we are unboxing the final backlog Tataku that I have, which is the one I've been looking forward to the most because I'm a huge Perfect Dark fan, and that is Joanna Dark, uh, I really hope they bring this series back, I think that'll be really, really cool, uh, maybe now that, you know, Gears is maybe tailing off a bit and whatever, maybe now's the time to bring Perfect Dark back, new gen, etc, that'd be amazing, I'd take a remaster at this point, I'll take anything, I just want new Perfect Dark experience, whether that's new as in newly touched up or new as a new new take whatever but anyway this is the tataku for her um see from perfect dark versus perfect dark zero perfect dark zero she had more of that orange stuff in her hair um so this is very much from the original game and as you can see in the background here she's on top of the data dying building um looks like she might be like on the helipad the extraction helipad from like mission it's like mission two i think you go there mission three something like that Definitely. Man, maybe I should do a let's play this game. But yeah. Uh put that box to one side. And here we go. So her face. It's, it, I'm gonna go to the face first because uh in the past with uh Horizon and more recently Lara from uh Temple of Osiris has been abysmal, but um this is actually a really nice face work, I'd say. Especially for how small it is. I mean, look, it's the size of my, smaller than my fingertip. So, to get that amount of detail in there is really good. So I'm not saying it's easy to nail it, but I, I, I feel they pretty much did with this one, unlike Lara. She's in, holding a, man, I forgot the name of the pistol, but, you know, the pistol. Got her armor. She's in this kind of cool stance. I mean, an action stance might be nicer. For some reason, and I don't know if it's intentional or not, kind of scuffed up on the base. Oh, I'm knocking the camera. My bad. Kind of scuffed up on the base here. Can we focus on that? That might be part of the effect. Kind of this mesh effect. It's probably part of the effect, but it's like actually raised up a little bit. See if I can... You can see that there. But anyway, this is probably one of the best Tatakus. I think they've done, in my opinion, like it's, it's super nice. The paintwork looks like it's really well done. Some of the others, like the paint seems to kind of go over bits that it shouldn't. Um, her pose is pretty cool. Her face isn't a train wreck. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not much to say about these things. They are very small collectibles, which if you're, you know, want to collect something and you don't have a whole ton of space figure wise, these are probably your best bet, or, uh, you know, Amiibos, I guess, are the other ones, if you like Nintendo characters, but I really like Tatakus because you get a whole range of, uh, whole range of characters from a whole different bunch of series of games that aren't all just basically Nintendo. Obviously, Nintendo have had, um, I think they had a Bayonetta one, I think they've had, uh, no, no, not the camera, cool. I think they had a, uh, a Dark Souls one, etc. But I, did, I think there's more variety with the Tartaku, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I'm not trying to rag on Amiibo at all. Those are probably more... Um, the ones I've had for, like, Metroid are more... Uh, the paint jobs and stuff are much, much better. But I just like these for the variety, really. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've picked this one up. Let me know uh, what your favourite Tartaku is if you have them. Um, let me know... Anything you want to let me know, I read all the comments, uh, whether or not I reply is a different matter. If I don't have anything to reply to you, like anything meaningful to say, um, then, you know, I won't reply. I might just give you a like or something. But yeah, I read every single comment there is. And so make sure to keep them coming. Give me that thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already to see more content. Hit the bell if you want to know when that stuff goes live. And this video actually wraps up my backlog of unboxings that have been coming out recently. Um, I'm not sure what the next unboxing is. It might be Last of Us 2. I do have the Collector's Edition coming for that. Not the Ellie Edition. We didn't get that over here in the UK. But the Collector's Edition. Um, I'm pretty f looking forward to that. Um, so, I mean, please don't spoil it for me in the comments. I probably shouldn't have even mentioned that game now that I think about it. But there we go. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully you're cool. Uh, hopefully you're staying safe. Hopefully you're having a good day, and I'll see you next time.